Congratulations, Steve. It's been a long time since our first uh, days at the University of Arizona and go back to Palisades High School when we started recruiting you at the end of the summer with Coach Olson and Bobby Olson and myself. You've come a long way, and we're really proud of you. Uh, just, Coach, tell us a little about what was, what was Steve like as a high school player and what was it, um, you know, was there anything then that kind of showed, like, what he would become later on, a, a very good NBA player, good GM, and, and a, a great coach, obviously. The one thing that uh, Coach Olson, the Hall of Famer, saw uh, in Steve Kerr is that he was an excellent person that was an outstanding student and could make free throws. And where our program was at at the time was on the bottom of the Pac-10. And uh, Coach wanted to build it with solid people, people that uh, would go to class, represent the university. And we started, started the foundation with uh, Steve Kerr after a couple other uh, California high school and junior college prospects. And uh, you've coached a number of you know, former NBA players, professional players overseas. Um, is there anything about Steve that maybe sets him apart from that group and, and just you know, the regular players that you coach every day? Well, I think the thing with uh, Steve Kerr and Sean Elliott and Kenny Lofton is along with Craig McMillan, that first group of uh, outstanding recruits at Arizona is at night, before self-improvement came in with coaches and working hard, uh, those, those group of young men went every night after study hall into the gym, would shoot hundreds and thousands of free throws every week. They would have contests, and it really paid off. And the foundation, Hall of Famer Lou Olson gets the credit for building the Arizona program, but really it was Sean Elliott and Steve Kerr because when we'd bring in a recruit, they could sell it. If they needed to go to church, they'd take the young man to church. If they needed to go to a party, they'd take him to a party. If they wanted to go to dinner, they, they were the ambassadors, and, and we got the benefit of uh, their uh, help in recruiting. And after a while, we kind of owned uh, California recruiting, and then we went nationwide. Uh, his, his style with the Golden State Warriors this year is you know, great offense and great defense, and I'm sure that's something that you've tried to instill in your team. Um, you know, what is it about their style of play that's done so well this year? I think the thing, one thing you look back in Steve Kerr's uh, career, when he came to Arizona, he started out with the free throws, he started out shooting uh, threes, but when people guarded him, he just backed up. He had a lot of freedom, and uh, he made other people uh, be comfortable with him and I think the one thing that uh, people don't realize about Steve Curry he had a very quick first step he could pass to the post and I think it's carried over into his coaching into our UIW philosophy I don't want to say tee it up high and let it fly but we give a lot of freedom on, on the shooting part I think the worst thing you can do is uh, hinder a shooter and make him feel uncomfortable like we say if you can make him ice your arm down after a game and I think Steve Kerr with all the players that he has there with Golden State, and, and he's adopted that philosophy. And he's a, he's a low-key but very intelligent uh, young man that, uh, in the coaching profession that has given a lot of freedom to, uh, to his pro players. One thing that uh, Steve Kerr uh, showed me as a young coach is that hard work and good people attract good people, and that's why we utilize uh, Steve Kerr and Sean Elliott and Kenny Lofton so much in our recruiting of future student athletes, and we've taken that philosophy at UIW, at Incarnate Word. We want to uh, attract gym rats, people that want to be good on and off the court, and put in time, put in effort, and want to play not only in the professional ranks, but also graduate so you have two jobs. We preach about two jobs all the time, and uh, you have the only way you can do that is improve your game every day. I think it's well deserving. I think it's uh, years of hard work uh, in different positions in his career, starting out to really an unrecruited uh, student athlete. Uh, he was recruited as a walk on at first, but he was too good to be a walk on. And then he took advantage and with hard work and, and uh, just kept moving up the ladder. He fought a lot of odds uh, making it in the NBA, hung in there a lot of years. And, and the best thing is him, he's always a great teammate.